Every Zoom account can access a personal meeting room. Think of it as your own virtual office. Your personal meeting room has an associated personal meeting ID, or PMI for short. Your PMI can be used to schedule meetings in your personal meeting room or to start instant meetings. If participants know your PMI, they can drop in to say hello. Let's get familiar with your personal meeting room. From your Zoom web portal, locate Meetings in the navigation bar, then click Personal Room. The meeting ID and invite link listed here leads to your personal room. Your PMI is a personal code to a virtual meeting room permanently reserved for you. Click Start to begin an instant meeting with your PMI, or click on the Upcoming tab and click Schedule a Meeting. Next to Meeting ID, you can select your PMI or select Generate Automatically to have Zoom automatically generate a unique meeting ID. Your personal meeting ID is ideal for use with people you meet with regularly. However, because it is always accessible with the same meeting ID and personal Zoom link, it should not be used for back-to-back -back meetings. Once a participant has the link to your PMI, they can join it at any time the meeting is in use unless you enable additional security features. Think of it like your virtual office. You can invite others in whenever you like, and anyone who knows where it is can drop in at any time. That being said, be sure not to leave your virtual office door open all the time. You should avoid sharing your PMI widely or on social media. Knowing the difference between the two options, consider how your PMI fits into how you use Zoom for your role. To enable or disable your personal room, locate Settings in the Navigation panel, click Meeting, then scroll to find PMI settings. If you disable your PMI, it will not appear as an option when scheduling meetings or joining instant meetings. Instead, Zoom will automatically generate a unique meeting ID. Enabling the setting, Use PMI when scheduling a meeting, will set your PMI as a default meeting ID when scheduling. You still have the option to select a unique meeting ID. Enabling the setting, Use PMI when starting an instant meeting, will make it so that anytime you meet with someone instantly via the camera icon or meet button in your desktop app, you will be meeting in your personal room. Let's take a look at settings for your personal meeting room. Return to your personal meeting room and click Edit. Locate the security options and consider enabling a passcode for your personal meeting room to restrict access. You can change this passcode at any time. A waiting room will place participants in a virtual space outside your personal meeting room, allowing you to admit participants. Additionally, you can require authentication or a verified login for participants to join. The settings you select here will apply to all meetings hosted in your personal room and can be modified at any time. Now that you understand the difference between a personal meeting ID and an automatically generated meeting ID, along with their settings, you can start scheduling meetings that best fit your needs.